They did have a loss last night against Sydney FC, but as you can see after the game, Gary Van Egmond was still in pretty good spirits. Mm. He, he said well done to Frank Farina. They had a bit of a joke and, you know, they're having a bit of a laugh. Now, he's just lost the game, but he's still having a good yeah. old chuckle. Everyone's wondering, what was he saying? What was he talking about? Well, we can reveal it right now because we've done some investigative work and we found out what's really going on behind closed doors at the Jets. And there's a new character that we need to introduce you to with the help of Tara Rushton. Over the past month, the Newcastle Jets have hit scintillating form. What a finish! And the Newcastle Jets lead! Coach Gary Van Egmond puts it down to one reason. The introduction of his character, Gary Van Eggpun. Yeah, for some reason, he calls himself Gary Van Eggpun. I thought he was kidding himself, didn't know what he was talking about. My alter ego is Gary Van Eggpun. He got a personalised shirt made with Van Eggpun on the back. It's just really embarrassing. We quickly discovered that not one Jets player had been able to avoid this bizarre technique. He keeps saying that we need to hatch a plan to win the championships, and then starts laughing. He pulls me aside and says, mate, I need you to poach a few extra goals this season. I'm a keeper. Obviously, he just wanted to say poach. He keeps telling me I have to scramble for every ball, but then he just laughs. When I first arrived, he uh, told me I needed to come out of my shell. I just ignored him. Van Egmond sees the initiative as a double whammy, a chance to increase morale, as well as to showcase his natural wordplay and improvisational skills. The boys find it really funny. They keep egging me on. No one eggs him on. Nah, I've definitely never egged him on. The players aren't even safe on match day. It was 10 minutes before kickoff, and he says, which day of the week is an egg's least favourite day? We didn't say anything. And then he says, Friday. He even spelt it out on the board. We got it, we just didn't find it funny. It doesn't stop there. Van Egmond remains in character during crucial tactical talks. The 10, he has to start to drift away, because if he doesn't, then obviously he brings his defender into here. To make matters worse, he's now being accused of selecting a captain purely based on their egg-like qualities. Do you understand? Yeah, I do, Gary. Thank you very much. That was excellent. That's a gift? That's for you. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, I was honoured to receive an egg as a gift from Gary Van Egg Pun, but it's just quite strange. It is. And look, if it's a long season, so if you have any egg puns that uh, Gary can use, uh, stick them on Twitter with the hashtag Van Egg Pun, and uh, he'll come around and do your laundry, Sam. He's very good at separating the whites. Isn't, isn't that just racist? No, it's white long. Oh, I get it. Sorry, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, send them through and we'll see if they can be beaten. Uh. <laughs> this is the outro song for the feeling.